good morning good morning good morning everyone this is lady c here i just want to come and give you a six months um update on my ablation and any type of fibroid uh um, complications you know that i may have had or may not have had i know i gave you a one week uh, update after i had my ablation six months ago but I just wanted to let you know how I was doing six months later. Um, I think that's very important since I did my journey with you guys. Um, okay, so uh, disclaimer, all right, males, husbands, fathers, dads, this is for women only. So, um, you know, I'm going to talk about, you know, some stuff. I'm going to make it short and sweet, you know, very quick. But, um, you know, if you don't want to hear about, you know, women and what we go through then just scroll on um but if you need some information for your wife or your mother or your sister then you know i you can listen all right so my six months update is i've been doing very well since my ablation um i had it back in uh, may or june um which is you know a little bit over six months but um i had it back then in the summertime my the problems that i was having um was i had abdominal pain back pain leg pain um and i had a lot of bleeding heavy bleeding i was up to you know switching out pads every two hours uh as opposed to some people that are very light you know it takes them uh maybe every three to four hours but me, every two hours, sometimes even one hour, that's just how heavy I was. Um, I didn't like it. It's been all my life. I really thought that it was normal, as I told you in my uh, journey. Um, but I decided to do the ablation. And since then, I have been feeling really great. I started losing weight. I've lost over boy, my total, even before the ablation. And afterwards, my total is my total weight loss has been around 25 pounds. So I'm very thankful for that. Before the ablation, I had lost about seven pounds, and then I dropped off uh, maybe around 15 more, um, give or take a few. So I am. My goal is to. Um, get under 200 so i was at uh about yes i'm at work you see the little people <laughs> so i'm at work now so i have to make this quick um my goal is to um <clears throat> get under 200 and um you know um so i'm at 204 right now my my complications have been slim to none i i really haven't i really can't say i've had any uh, i don't have any more abdominal pain i don't have any more back pain um you know no type of cramps for the most part i don't have uh any more heavy bleeding the the my cycles you know i still have periods but it's about um i would say one uh, light day like the first day is light and then um and then the next two days is really slim to none the next two the the first day i could you know i wear a, a actual pad that's the the next two days i may have on um like a, a panty liner um and that's all i need so about three days opposed to seven full days which i had at the beginning i had you know i was going seven straight days of pretty much heavy the first five and then the last two you know light so i really like that i wish it was gone completely but um i really like the light uh cycles um no cramping no pain um and the weight loss, I wouldn't, I can't say that that actually came from the ablation, the uh, outpatient surgery. It really came from me just um, hitting the ground, you know, running, uh, just eating, you know, healthier foods. Uh, you know, I told you about the turkey, fish, and chicken. That's mainly what I eat. I eat a lot of uh, vegetables, you know, zucchini, kale, spinach, um, you know, 
peppers, bell peppers, onions, and you know, I just kind of mix all of that and, and just do different things with that. I eat the uh, guacamole, you know, uh, guacamole. Um, so I really just enjoy eating and living healthy now. I do exercise a little bit more than I used to, and that is what really got, um, you know, my weight down. I try to stay away from a lot of sugars. I do still eat some sweets. You know, I won't say that I don't. I won't lie to you. I do still eat that. But remember, uh, the sweets is what um, makes the fibroids grow inside. And the fibroids, as they get larger from the starches that we eat, and, you know, because starches turn into sugar, and just all of the sweets that we eat, it inflames the fibroids. So the fibroids, as they grow bigger, it presses down on your uterus. It presses down on different parts in your body, and it makes, um, and that that is what makes the pain occur. Um, so that's why you have to lay off of the sweets. And then um, I lay, you know, I got rid of the pork, and so just living healthy, healthier. It may. Uh, it helped with the weight loss, and then that also helps with uh, to keep the fibroids down. So that is my six months journey, you guys. Um, I'm feeling good, and um, you know a lot of my friends say I'm looking good. You know, so <laughs> I, I am feeling healthy, and uh, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that I do think it is worth it um, to get the ablation if you sight to get the hysterectomy just make sure you talk to your doctor and get their recommendation so um oh that's all for now guys thank you for listening bye bye